Hi guys, welcome to Monday Motivation. I'm Do Daily. It's Des here. Who's ready for a brand new week? I'm in a great frame of mind this week. Really, really looking forward to things again. As I've explained through Do Daily, I've had a really sort of busy, stressful, you know, tough couple of weeks, couple of months even. But I've been trying to stay positive throughout. But over the weekend, I got a little bit of time to sort of relax a little, take the pace off things. Went for a walk yesterday and kind of realised whilst I was out there that I'd, I'd actually got a bit of time back, you know, and I actually started feeling content, which whilst I didn't realise I wasn't content, by feeling it yesterday, it gave me a real boost, you know. I started to feel like things have finally started to fall into place, things are working out, you know, I can be positive again about what's happening. And despite just watching the uh, news there and the press conference from Boris um, and what's happening locally we're, we're actually in the high risk category so unfortunately we won't be able to see people indoors but I'm going to try and make the most of that it's a choice about how we act how we react to things like that as individuals I firmly believe that so what I'm going to do is make the most of the things I can really attack them really sort of look forward to that rather than look at the things we can't do it's disappointing it's frustrating and when we do think about it too much um we can let it get to us much more we much easier than we can work off the positive so i think it's really really important to make a choice to be happy and positive you know to do the things that keep us healthy keep us fit keep us Keep us positive. I think that's the most important thing, isn't it? If you're in a positive frame of mind, we almost feel like we can do anything, tackle anything. So it's really, really important to stay on top of that, you know, and, and make some good choices. And of course, through Do Daily, what I'm looking to do is offer lots of activity, lots of encouragement, you know, tips and advice, just things to keep us going, you know. Some people won't be as positive as I am right now. Some people struggle with that some people struggle with the bad news so it's about trying to pass on the message that there's things available to help us sort of build that positivity to help us do different things do new things do you know accept the change i think the biggest lesson we've probably learned this year is that things are changing and probably changing for forever it's uh, something i touched on on a on a personal social media post it's it, it's probably the way things are going to change forever so the, the sooner we accept that the sooner we understand that it's not personal you know and we've got to sort of do the things we need to do temporarily to make the situation better long term it, it's it's so important to remember that you know and and if we accept that we'll get there a lot sooner and i think individually we can all do our bit We've got to, of course, we've got to abide by the rules. You know, we've got to do what we have to do in that sense. But more importantly, I believe, is if we, we still sort of keep that conversation going, keep being positive, keep trying to motivate and inspire those around us. Something I try and do for a living. Um, it's we can have much bigger impact than what else is happening and, and what else is happening individually. Like I say, it's a choice. And at the moment, I'm making a choice to be happy. Still lots going on, still lots to sort of concern myself with personally. But right now, I'm on it. I'm ready to attack the week. Do you know, I'm looking at setting goals again. Do you know, I've got I've already planned sort of Tuesday, Wednesday, what I'm going to say on Thursday, you know, so I'm really ready for Do Daily and what we've got. And of course, this time every week, what I try to do is let people know, brief one through of the week. So today, of course, Monday Motivation, like I say, it's a choice of how we react to this latest news. So come on, give it a real go. Be strong. Hold your head up high and, and say you're going to beat it. Do you know, that's the only way we can do it. If we all sink in, do you know, it's not going to happen. So if we all 
attack it together, despite the fact we can't be together. Um, there's lots of things we can do, like I say, starting with getting out there and getting some activity in. I'll be out this evening doing my not a boot camp session. It's my way of, of, of easing the people who take part in that into the week. It's all socially distanced, it's all safe, it's all within the uh, restricted numbers. So it's a great way of me staying in touch with people, passing on a bit of my advice, you know, getting out, doing some light exercise, getting people moving, getting people talking, getting people still feeling part of something during this difficult time. And of course, I always say never miss a Monday. So if you can get out, like I say, just ease yourself in if, if you're struggling, go for a walk. I can guarantee once you come back, 10, 20, 30 minutes preferably, but if you can do 15, 10, 15, it's still going to make a difference. You're still going to feel great. You're never going to feel worse, I can guarantee you that. So never miss a Monday. Get out there, get some activity in, and if you can sort of wake up on Tuesday thinking you've got some in, you know, you've already you've already done the hard bit by starting starting the week off with a, with a positive action and what what I always say is one positive action leads to another. And of course tomorrow we've got the Do Running City Slickers Solidarity Session. That's a great session. Everybody meets up at 6.30, virtually of course. It's something I introduced after after the uh, initial lockdown and it's been really, really popular amongst the Do Running community. The beauty of it is anybody can join in, do you know, planning to do it. You know, make yourself accountable. Tell somebody you're going to do it. Suggest running with somebody. Suggest cycling with somebody. Again, you can still do these things outdoors. And whilst I'm not encouraging people to, to break guidelines, it is important to do what we can to stay on top of it. It's a great session. You know, the guys post pictures in. I share them across the uh, social media stories. Tags, the, the links to tag us in will be up at the end and it's a fantastic way to sort of showcase and just show people you're still part of a great running group and that's what do running city slickers do they all run together in more normal times um, so what we're trying to do is kind of replicate that but do it in our own our own space it's one of those key uh, <laughs> key ingredients isn't it that from the government advice is to uh, to give a bit of space but it's a really great session, so if you, if you really can't get out today, that's a fantastic one to get involved in. Differently to normal weeks, I've, uh, I've, like I say, I've already got the Wednesday workout planned. What I'm going to ask you guys to do, and I'll talk much more about it tomorrow and the reasons why, but what I'm going to do is ask people to get involved, commit through the closed Facebook group. I'm hoping to post the, post the event up this evening. And for those who take part, I'm going to draw them against each other to set each other a task. Today, I ask a friend if I could set a task for them, if they wanted to, because I know they, the person I did it for really embraces and, and takes on board advice and, and likes to sort of do it for themselves as well, you know, to get the benefits. So I ask a friend if I could set a target. Realistic, but... It's going to take some work. It's uh, It'll take that person slightly out of their comfort zone, although they're, they're more than capable of doing it. But for what I'll do this Wednesday is uh, almost get people setting each other's targets. And again, just mention that word accountability. It might just push you on that little bit more to get involved. And again, we can we can showcase that through the social media. It's the, when, the Tuesdays and the Wednesdays have been absolutely fantastic and really sort of, they're unique, they're different, you know, something only we do. And again, it gives people that sense of belonging, sense of being part of a team, but also the quirkiness of doing something different. We don't sort of necessarily go by the, uh, I was going to say rule book, but we are playing by the rules. That's exactly what we're doing. But it's new ideas, new things, you know throwing it out there to see what people want to get involved in and the more people get involved the better it is more spirits created more conversation and again it's that thing one positive action leads on to another on thursday we've got thursday thoughts of course last week the throwback question is which movie inspires you which one do you keep watching 
time and time again. Great question that was from Simon. So I'll be answering that. Some of the guys have already posted in. Keep posting in your responses. Again, it's just a, a, a quirky way of trying to motivate and inspire. You might be inspired to watch that movie. It might then do it for you in the future. Do you know, it'll, it might create conversation. It, it might sort of make you understand somebody slightly better. And that's the whole point. It's just about doing those same things you know, getting into those routines, keeping the conversation going, keeping talking, keep keep active. And th this is what all these things do. It just helps that little bit to, to get you out there. And of course, I'm, I'm always looking for questions. Hopefully it'll go a little bit better than last week's Thursday Thoughts. If you don't know what happened, I had a bit of a, a drama halfway through that, so check it out. Still a little bit embarrassed, but reassuring to know I've got some nice <laughs> nice uh, comment saying that I managed to hold it together so uh, definitely one for the bloopers that but yeah check it out and then of course on Friday it's wake up to walk thankfully I just got it in in time um, last Friday I went out for a walk locally around the river and I met some of the guys of course we kept socially distanced but it was great again that word again accountability to have some guys there whilst I get up and do that every day every Friday do you know it was good for them to make that commitment and turn up and, and be involved in something and one of the reasons I did that was because of the potential lockdowns that have just been introduced it was a great way to see people again do you know and stick within the rules but try and help myself and others do you know in the face in with the prospect of what was happening to sort of attack it in the best way we can so we've done something positive do you know if we'd not done that we might have got sort of three four days down the line and, and already been feeling the strain but by just sort of seeing somebody as late as i could during the week to do a bit of activity it made it nice it made it sort of worthwhile of course we finished with saturday selfie do you know, great effort again last week. Lots of great pictures posted in. It's where I uh, pass the baton on to you guys to finish the week by doing your bit to motivate and inspire others. Of course, I do the talking in the week. Gives me a bit of a break. But it shows people what a great community we have, that, what a dedicated community, and that people are still prepared to get out, get that all-important daily activity in. And whilst most of the time... I try to set a bit of a challenge, try to be inspired by whatever I do on a Friday morning, um, let you know at the end of that. Sometimes it's just about getting out there, just hashtagging Saturday Selfie, posting it on, letting me share it across the social media, and it really does do the trick. So, that, so as ever, that's what we've got in store. Like I say, don't be defined by things you can't control. It's about how we choose to tackle this. And if you throw yourself into some of those things, I can assure you, you'll feel absolutely fantastic. What we offer is routine, like-minded people doing the same things, you know, week in, week out, whilst we don't want it to get too monotonous and too repetitive, we try to break it down in different ways and do slightly different things just to keep people focused, encouraged and on top of the situation i'll be back tomorrow for that solidarity session i'm really looking forward to that i'll actually be somewhere different what the situation does allow me okay is to go away for a few days and that's been planned for a long time so we'll be heading away i'll be in a slightly different location doing my solidarity session but as mentioned it doesn't matter where you are so I'll be giving you guys a pep talk, hoping you'll join me at 6.30, getting out there and getting active. And if you've not done so today, getting that week up and running. Till, till then, guys, just doing it.